So Kevin. Yeah? You're about like 6'1", 6'2". Eh, just shy. Eh, about 6'3". Oh. Well today, we're gonna be... Munchkins! Oh yeah, today we're playing the Munchkin CCG that just came out a couple weeks ago. That's a collector card game for those who can't do that stuff. That, yes. Nerd math. Ex acronyms. Eh, That's what they're called, acronyms. Big so, words. Yes. So today we're playing the Munchkin CCG. Uh, they come with three different starters. It's Warrior and Ranger, uh, Bard, and mm, what was the other one? Wizard Rogue? We're playing... We're, bard. No, Bard and... Halfling. Halfling wizard. Ranger. No, it's Bard and Wizard. Bard and Wizard. So Bard and Wizard, uh, Warrior and Ranger, but today we are playing the Thief and the Cleric. Not just any cleric. Yes. The Dwarf Cleric. And the Elf Thief. Yeah, no one cares about the Elf Thief. Well, uh, you'll be singing a different tune after we play. Do you have an axe? Uh, are you going to ask me a question? Yeah, if you keep getting uppity. I'll, I'll, I have a knife to backstab you with. Well, I That's better not thing. look away. Yeah. <laughs> ah! Also, we are going to be using the new Dragon Shield art sleeves that recently came out. I'm super... I am using the Draxus ones, which are blue and look alike of this. I want to say it, but I'm going to say it wrong. Ha. Huh. Right? Tanyer? Tanyer. Well, the cool red dragon with the yeah. multiple horn dreadlock thing. I love that it. That one. He's also known as the Furnace, and apparently he also doesn't like your army. There's a little fluff in the back. That's oh, awesome. actually. <laughs> yeah. So you're saying these were limited edition? These are limited edition. Uh, cool. These ones are the slick ones. The uh, Gael ones that are the green dragon are matte. Mm -hmm. um, and the, what's really nifty about these versus other art sleeves is that other art sleeves tend to be like a sticker that goes on top of the sleeve itself, yeah. which makes it susceptible to peeling and other things like that oh. uh, as they age. Whereas these ones are actually printed directly onto a normal dragon shield sleeve. Well, I like that, particularly because I was not aware that stickers were on sleeves. Yeah. So that's kind of fun fact for me. Yeah, that's what happens with art sleeves, and that's why you see people with like really good ones. They'll actually triple sleeve their cards. They'll have an oh. undersleeved art sleeve itself, and then an oversleeve I, on top of that. I've only heard rumors, but I've only seen the, the, the elusive <laughs> double sleeve so far. Right. All right, so we're going to be playing uh, this game, mm -hmm. uh, and we did play a couple of little practice games to get a feel for it. So in case we miss any rules, feel free to let us know in the comments. Yeah, but no I comments. think we got a pretty pretty good handle on it. And yeah, let's go ahead and get on into the game. Yeah, let's do that. All right, here we go. We've gotten everything kind of set up already. Uh, you can see that we have our deck sleeved, mm -hmm. but we have our you know, our actual heroes not, so that way you can actually see the back of the card there. It looks pretty nice. Yeah, I like how it's got a very nice little like kind of off purple dragon markings, but yeah. yet it has the same munching kind of fun playfulness, especially with that dragon who looks sickly. It, that dragon's derpy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but in a good way, in a good way. It's like a Viking dragon, too. Almost. Look at the head of a ship. Well, all things should be Viking. That's what you say. SoCal Viking. Very loudly. Right? Okay, so first thing we're going to do is roll to see who goes first. All right. What? Uh, I, I, got, I go first. I got a one. Got a you go though. second. No. One no. means first. Uh, I read the rules. Second. The rule says the highest then chooses. But for the purpose of I'll let you go first. Because okay. I'm generous. All right, so you're letting me go first? Yeah, I feel that's a good idea. Ooh, I don't think so. So let's go ahead and go. So first thing we do is draw our hand of six cards. Since I'm going first, I'll have one gold in my purse, and you'll have two in your purse. It's a man purse. Can I just have one of those cool fanny packs? Only if you actually have it on your fanny. Sure. <laughs> it is a pretty nice fanny. Mm. What were the mulligan rules? You straight up lose everything. You have to re-put it in the deck, okay. and then pull another six. Okay. Hmm. Is that the thing I want to do? Right. I actually think... I actually think I'm fine. I I'll mixed, keep this. I have mixed feelings, but I think I will also keep it. Partly because one of the things I have in my hand is a card I didn't get to play. Okay, same here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I'll go ahead and lead us off. Um, nothing to take care of in the upkeep, right. so I will go ahead and draw for turn. Right. I will go ahead and play Honest Al's Casino. Now, to be fair, you have more than one of those, right? I do have more than one of those, yes. Yeah. Now, I want to point out this card is amazing. Now, go ahead. Yes. So, this is a location. Uh, each player can only have one location. And so, this one is the rogue-specific one, uh, the thief-specific one. This one says, at the beginning, uh, during each hero's reckoning step, which is upkeep kind of a thing. We're going to use magic terminology during this, interchanging with the actual official terminology because right. we a play easier. magic. Well, most folks should know. Yeah. 
Let's go. So, during each hero's reckoning step, which is like the upkeep, mm-hmm. that hero rolls a die. On a one, all heroes spill one, which is mill one. Two to five, all heroes take one gold. Mm-hmm. Or on a six, all heroes draw one card. Yeah. So I'm, I'm helping you. You you get the first crack at this. And I appreciate I'm a generous person. And, and to be clear, we're both heroes. Yes. Also, that's in your horde zone. That is in my horde zone. So this just goes in my horde zone, along with any other heroes, or allies, I should allies. say, and weapons. weapons. Um, I think it's their official term. Exactly. And after that, I'm going to go ahead and use my elf's ability. I'm going to zap it. Yeah. Tap it right there. I get to draw two, and then put one card from my hand on the bottom of my deck. I'll go ahead and do this one. And as a note, I feel this is a very strong ability. Yes. <laughs> Uh, we'll get to mine shortly, because it's also really good. It's just not as strong. Right. But it's super good. So, I don't have... Uh, I might have something else, but I don't want to play something else. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pay one. Okay. Uh-oh. Actually, no. Th- I can do this one ever. Oh, okay, good. I'm going to pass the turn. Sweet. I like that I didn't get beat up. <laughs> yeah. All right, so let's go through it again. Uh, since it's my first turn, I believe nothing really matters. Honest uh, Al's Casino, oh, roll right. that die. Let's see what we all got. We Four. both get a gold. Oh, okay, I'll take mine. Yeah. I have three now to play with. Thank you, yes. sir. Or You're ma'am, Miss Elf Thief. Yeah. Draw. And you draw. Hmm. Actually, these are all pretty good. <laughs> all right, all right. Okay, so how does this one work? Uh, so when can I play an interrupt? It's uh, now... Interrupts, also known as mischiefs, should happen anytime. Okay. Now that you've drawn your card for turn, you got whacked. Oh no! Discard one card at random. Oh, okay. Am I going to get an angel? No. <laughs> There's actually still some cool stuff in here. Uh, so I'll see if I'm upset in a second. We'll take... Oh, these cards that one. are so pretty. Oh, oh, cheaters never win. Apparently, cheaters will win today. That was so going to be helpful. Yes. <laughs> because the thief loves to cheat. Yes, I do. And we'll get over that soon. You will see that mechanic in play. You'll, you'll get over it. Yeah. Oh, by the way, I also forgot one thing. Uh, oh, at the end of my turn, I would have leveled up and got a gold, so I'll still right. have one So there. one of the cool mechanics of this game, well, I kind of like it, is that you actually get your resource, aka gold. You're guaranteed. Hand. Yeah. Yeah, you're guaranteed your resources. So. Uh, nice. At the end of every turn, you level up once and then get that many, up to that many gold. Okay, this is kind of neat. So I, I see some stuff I want to do. Um, can't do that, can't do that. So I will try that first. Uh, all right, let's try some stuff. So I'm going to place a monster in okay. the danger zone. The DMZ, the, the dangerous D- monster zone. Right. Yes. Or the danger, danger zone. zone. And let's go ahead and say... Two. Two. So what we're doing right now is he's debating if this is a monster worth two. If it's worth two or less, so I'm paying for it, that I hired this monster to beat him up. Yes, if I try to run away, which I do get a free, you get a free run away every mm-hmm. single turn, but that would mean that I don't get to see what that monster is and he gets the gold back because he never actually had to pay the monster to do anything. Right. So I'm going to let it happen. Cool. Bring it. Well, I'm glad because it's a real monster. No, oh, it's Gazebo. So Gazebo... Is pretty neat because he's actually a classic card yep. from too. But he also is a two three, so he's pretty decent. Yep. And if the defender has a location in play, yep. does an extra damage. Yup. So that was actually one of the coolest starting cards I've done so far. <laughs> yup. Uh, now, what does a monster have done as effect? It goes into the stash. Stash. Yes. Fun terms for everything. Um, and he's faced up. Yes, is. he's faced up, so I can see him. I see him. Yes. Now I, him. I can play. You got one gold card. All right, let's let me double check what I have. See, see, that's what you do when I play a beneficial location that helps everybody. You use it to your advantage to help punch me in the face. I'll try. I'll remember that. That's weird. All right. Um. So I'm gonna play, not Conan the Barbarian, 
But Barbarian the Librarian. <laughs> librarian. Barbarian the Librarian. Yes. He's very strict. No talking. Uh, he's an ally card, so their purpose is kind of a defense card. He's got two hit points, so he can take some hits for me when his monsters start to come after. And when you squash a monster controlled by your opponent, draw a card. Ooh. So I find that interesting because it's more of a passive once I'm kicking your butt or yeah. doing cool tricks. So we'll see if it comes into play. And he did cost one, which Hadrian uh, gladly removed for me. Yes, collected. Yeah, he doesn't want me to be too good. No. Uh, with that, let me double check everything I have. I can do that whenever. Yeah, I think I'm good at the moment. Okay, so cool. I'm going to end my turn, which means yep. I go up a level, two, and I gain up to two. She gave me three, three, which I don't mind. I'll probably get that anyways. <laughs> uh, we'll see with Honest Al's Casino. Right. All right, so my turn. I will go ahead and unzap. Ooh. We will go ahead and resolve Honest Al's Casino and get ourselves an extra gold. gold. There we go. We will draw a card for our turn. And then we'll go ahead and tap this and draw two more. Mm -hmm. And we'll bottom one. We'll go ahead and bottom this one. Move him go. Yeah. Also, as a note, we haven't used Runaway, but the very first thing we do is we unflip. Yes, we also unflip. Yes. Yeah. That is correct. But that's okay. Okay. So we'll get we that. What do we want to do? I want to win. I'm going to try my best to not let that happen. That's fair. So, you got... A friend oh, and Cheaters Never Win is in your discard yeah. pile. That's you know perfect. what I can do? I could probably switch places. With yeah, that's what I did. <laughs> Makes it a little easier. Okay, so we'll go ahead and start off with... Hmm. I know, right? Okay. We'll pay two. And so what's happening right now is that this monster uh, is face down, and I've put aside the money to hire him. Uh, and Kevin has to respond before we flip it over. So if he's going to commit any defenders or anything like that, commit any allies, any weapons, he has to do that before we find out mm -hmm. if I'm able to what, the, what this monster is. And also, cheating is a thing in this game. If this costs more than two then it gets revealed. I would take a damage because I got caught cheating if it gets revealed and it goes away to my stash. Okay. I think I'm going to use the mechanic and say run away. You're going to run away? Yeah. I okay. Say, I don't think you have a bigger monster than if that was a monster. So we'll see if you can use all three. Cool. So we'll go ahead and... He, might, he also might have been banking on that being a low monster and then getting that three back to skewer so, me. So actually, I'm going to pay one. Oh, okay. Stabity stab. Oh, what is that? Hey, uh, play this when the defender runs away. Deal two damage to the defender. There you go. Ooh. I can now activate my dwarf ability. Yes. Maybe. You can zap him. I think I will. So let's go ahead. So you'll zap him, so you'll only take one. I'm going to only take one. Boop. So his unique ability is he can prevent one damage from target hero, ally, or monster. Now what's cool That's about this That's not a hero, ally, or monster. Uh, no, it's here. Oh, t that would be dealt to a hero. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Now, I just realized, too, it doesn't specify mine. So I can technically do it against yours, yes. which I don't see a obvious reason to do that. But, but it is a possibility. Yeah, which I like. All right. So past that, we're going to go ahead and drop a Dagger of Treachery. Ooh, I hate that thing. Yes. So this one is a weapon. Uh, what it does, it has one attack and it absorbs one hit when I use it. Also, whenever I'm caught cheating, I get to collect one, which is take one token from the stockpile and place it on this card. Mm -hmm. This weapon gains one damage for each token on it. When this damages a monster, return all tokens to the stockpile. Right. So, it basically allows you to take out the big creatures as the game goes on. Exactly. Which is cool. All right. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pay two for that. Um, I'll let it come through. Okay. And I'm not going to assign anything. Okay. I cheated. So yes. I'll take a damage. Yay. I, I had a He'll feeling go here. He, he existed. He's great. And these will come back. Let's show him again. He's actually a really fun card. Yeah, so this is just a vanilla creature. It's a three drop, four power, three uh, health, budget Sasquatch. Yeah. He's yes. Ex he's exactly what he needs to be. I and like so whenever, him. yeah, and when a card gets caught cheating, I take one damage and I flip him over and put him into my stash. Yeah, which makes it harder for me to interact with him. Yes. All right, next I'll pay one, and I will use this one. Okay. 
I'm pretty sure I know that's coming at me. Now, is there a way to get around it? Because I'm going to be taking two Also, damage. this got a counter. Yeah. Um, so, because he doesn't have that thing on him, I don't have to worry about it as much, right? Yeah, you're not currently bleeding. If you're right, talking about... Let's, let's see it through. And I'm not going to put this on. I don't want my barbarian. I cheated again. Oh, good. That was weird. This is Card Shark. And so what this one does is when this uh, card gets squashed in a fight, basically killed in a fight, I get to draw a card. But yeah. I cheated, so I also get another one here, and I took a damage. Hmm. What are you doing? Hmm. And hmm. then... I'm interested. I'll use two and do that one. Hmm. Really still don't want to get rid of my Barbarian because his card draw is super useful. Mm -hmm. This deck's hard to draw. So, yeah, bring it on. Okay, this one was real. This one was my gazebo. Okay, now I don't own a land, so that's it. You don't, so I'll just do two damage to you. Okay, so it's the same amount as if I decided to run away from that fight. Yes. But he had to commit the coins, which is yes. the important part. Because I've, I've learned when the rogue or the thief has too much money, I'm in trouble. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I need to take two. Yep, I'll take which two. I can't prevent. And it would have killed my barbarian. Yes, it would have. And then past that, I will pass the turn. All right, which means so you So I will up. go up to level three. And gain three gold. Nice. Well, we'll probably gain more in a moment. I hope so. All right. So I first flip. Yep. Then I unzap. Everything's unzap. This goes then back to my hand called the unstash. Yes. And yeah, we're at the reckoning, which is where yep. these cards come into play. And, and both of us get a gold. Well, I don't hate it. Whoop. All right. So I'm at four now. And I draw a card as the last part. And this part's the warm up. Yes. Ooh, interesting. Okay. I don't know. It's not as good as I need it to be right now. I need one more level, basically. <laughs> then I'll start rocking. I do, better. too. Yeah, right? I'm feeling the same way. Okay. Um. Well, let's go ahead and we'll use this one. And there we go. Coming at you. We'll run away from this one. Okay. All right. So he goes into my stash unrevealed, right? Correct. Okay. And then I get my money back. Yep. Then go into this one. Oh, let's see what he is again. All right. So that's actually a power of three? Yes. Okay. All right. Yeah. Let's go ahead and go in it. We'll put two. I'll defend. I know. So technically that becomes tapped, right? It does become oh, zapped. Zapped. Yes. All right. So we're going to flip it. And, and of course it was the gazebo. Right. Which is why I asked. But now yep. I'm going to zap my cleric to yep. try to save it. Try. He's a rogue or a thief. So there's a chance that he has some sneak damage. Now worked. All right. Cool. So I'll still remove all of this and I will take two damage. Yes. Because he has one shield. Yes. All right. So that goes there. But he still takes damage, right? Yes, but damage gets removed, I believe. I don't know if that's true. Because it goes back to your hand. Oh, yeah. Well, yes. I guess maybe it gets damage while it's still here. It will be. So if I have any okay. way of dealing one damage to it, yeah. which so, I do have ways of doing that. Yeah, yeah. It's true. Oh, it's true. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's true. It's damn true. Dun, 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 dun. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, all right. So it looks like I still have two gold left over. Mm -hmm. Do I want to do more things? Because with two gold, I can do a lot on his turn as well, which is fun. Oh, that's um, letting me know what you got in your hand. Well, it's just, nice. as, a, just as a rule. Having two gold is always good to yeah. have at the end. Um, I think I'm okay then. I th this is a good time to stop. And I didn't squash. Well, when you squash a monster controlled by your... Okay, it has to be your opponent. I'm like, yep. can, I, I'm like can I kill my own monster to get a trigger? Nope. Oh, well. <laughs> uh, yeah. So you're done? Yes, so I'm going to fish you going to be done. So. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and flip this over. Unzap. Oh, and I just remember I, spending is smart because I'm going to get three anyways. Well, uh, you don't get one quite yet. Yeah, uh, we still have to roll the die. Oh, no, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you get that. Yeah, yeah. You get that one because you're level three. But again, I, I should have spent the two. Yeah. Nah, that's fine. Oh. oh, both of us draw a card. And we keep this one, right? So one's yes. the bad one. Okay. One is the bad one we know. Okay, so I didn't get the extra gold, and now we'll go ahead and draw for turn. Okay. And I'll go ahead and tap the elf, draw two. 
and bottom one. <sighs> Best ability. <laughs> right? So good. I'm not so even, nice. I'm not even mad. I'm a little mad. <laughs> it's okay. My preventing ability is actually super cool. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to do that. So we'll bottom this one. Okay. okay. And then I'll go ahead. Do you ever feel bad about bottoming a card? Is it, is it ever no. like, okay. No, it's... I, I have no use for this one, so get rid of it. Yeah, man. See, that's just cool. So go rogue or thief. I gotta remember that. Yeah, <laughs> I'm so used to D and D where thieves are called rogues now. So, hmm. So another fun note. It's an elf thief. So I wonder if there's going to be more sets coming out where they'll have like, with different yeah, like class race like combos, a thief or something, and maybe that'll yeah. be a mechanic. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and squash my loot. Shoot. And I'm going to play Muggsy's Sap. Fair. Now explain what you actually did. So the reason why I'm squashing this loot is because you can only have a number of loots. So this indicates the level that you have to be to use this item. And that combines across all equipment that you have. So if I were to want to have both of these on the field at the same time, I would have to be level 4 because 2 plus 2 is 4. I'm currently only level 3. So the only way I can get this one out, and I need this, you'll see why is by squashing this, which basically means destroying it. Right, and the symbol is a blue star. Exactly. And so what Muggsy Sap does, it has smack! Zap this during your turn to deal one damage to target hero or target stashed monster. Yeah. Boop! Boop! No! It got... Smacked. Smacked. And the barbarian librarian only cares about your so mine. When, okay. Yeah, when you squash a monster, when you squash a monster controlled by your opponent. Yes. So dang, perfect. Right. All right. We will go ahead then and do. That makes me sad. That actually was a super useful card. <laughs> All right. We'll go ahead and do that. Okay. That's so I'm interesting. putting no gold on him. So that tells me it's either one of his bluffing kind of cards or he's trying to take damage to get another trigger to happen. So I don't think it's worth it for me. He's gonna do he's gonna get his cheat either way, because he has so many more monsters. Not if you run away. No. Well, I can I'm not yeah, throwing yeah, away we'll or run away when we'll you see. have four. You yeah. might have a big monster trying to hit me. Mm. So let's let's well here's the thing. Do I use the ally? It does not make a difference. Because if it's a, a zero, and I don't think you have the lame goblin. Go ahead. I'll take it. Okay. I cheated. Yeah. So I'll take one damage. Which is the most damage I've done so far. Right. <laughs> through cheating. Yes. <laughs> okay. Next. Now I have to beware. Go two. Do this one. Okay. That's a pretty good amount. I think two is a good time, like a good cost for bluffing. Yeah. It's enough to pay for the cat that I don't like, but the cat isn't going to super be dead for right now. No, because you're not bleeding. Still don't necessarily want to risk my barbarian because... You're a babar. Yeah, well, I just need the card draw, and I think you could still kill it at two. Because I don't know what... I don't remember all your monsters. And when you flip it, I'm trying to remember what you might have. Usually they have some cool effect that just, like, makes me mad. I know one you can't trigger here, which is nice. Mm-hmm. And I don't think you can hit me that hard. So I'm going to let it through without blocking. Okay. So I'm going to reveal it. I'll pay its cost. Okay, cool. Two. And it's Muggsy. We just used his sap. And now Muggsy himself has shown up. And he will deal one damage to you. Yep. And survivor is his keyword ability. It's cool. This ability triggers when this survives the fight. Steal one gold from the defender. All right. So I feel pretty good about that because it pretty much still would have played out the same way. Yeah. <laughs> And then with my last, I will go ahead and do three. Um, at this point, I think I'll just run away. Cause You're going to run away? Yeah. Okay. So go ahead and flip your token over there. I get my gold back since I didn't have to pay the monster to do anything. Right. You just ran away. Yeah. And so I will go ahead and pay three again. And put this one down. Right. Yes. All right, looking at what I have. So I think I'm good to go. Let's 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 see it through. You let it through? You let it through? Let's see what kind of oh, oh, I'm sorry. 
So we've got the Krusty Disgusty Monster like Undead. When this deals damage to the defender in a fight, it also deals one damage to each monster in the defender's stash. I had two ways of trying to get rid of that guy. That's good. Well, before we finish, yep. let's go ahead and pay these last two. Yep. And let's try to get Unseen or Smite Unseen. In Ooh, play. what does it's that do? It's a mischief card. Yes. Also known as an instant. Yeah, oh, interrupt. Interrupt, sorry. Yeah. Uh, play when you fight has been declared. Move the attacking uh, committed card to the owner's discard pile. Yep. Then remove all committed gold to the attacker so he gets his gold back. I get my gold back. Now, yeah. what's neat about this is I will never have to worry about that card again. You will never have to worry about this card again. But now I'll pay three mm -hmm. and skewer you. Aww. Now you're bleeding. Now so I'm now scared. you're going to immediately take one damage. Yes. And at the beginning of each of his uh, upkeep phase. Yeah, unrival or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he'll also take one damage. Yeah, it's an iconic card for the thief. Yes. Oh, this is, yeah, this is spent. And you have no gold for your turn, so I'm feeling pretty good. I'll pass the turn. Why didn't I have more gold? Oh, you stole one. Yeah, I stole one and then you spent two. Yeah, I'm like, how did that happen? Well, you might get one. I'm probably going to get one. <laughs> That's okay. Um, all so right. I'll end my turn. I will go ahead and level up Yep. to four and get my four golds. Yep. And your turn. All right. Well, as we said, flip. Yep. Unzap. I'm just going to mostly unzap him. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this comes back to my hand, and then officially the rival step happens. Right, let's see what we got. Ah, oh, we both mill one. Dang it. Oh, right. it's my vampire kitty. Oh, good. He only has two of those. Oh. I'm actually pretty excited about so that. So the reason why he's excited about this is because this is my vampire kitty. It's a one cost, two one monster, but it also has Sketchy. Sketchy was the, what was it? I don't think I played something with Sketchy yet. Uh, but Sketchy is, if I've been caught cheating already this turn, this has its effect. His effect is each bleeding hero takes one damage. And so if I swing with this, it only costs one to uh, commit. Mm -hmm. It deals two damage. And if I've already been caught cheating, it'll do an extra one because now you're bleeding. Yeah, I don't like him. Yes. He did a lot of damage when we were playing our practice game. All right. Let's go through some of the roads then. Um, let's get to the munchkin. Got no gold. I don't need that much gold. I have robes of retribution. <gasps> What's it's that a loot do? armor. Uh, you may use this ability only at the end of the fight in which a monster damaged you. Mm -hmm. Bring it. Uh, then I zap it, and you do two damage to that monster. Oh, okay. Yeah. Now, what's interesting about this one is, like, I don't think I have to commit it to a fight. It's just a thing I have now. It is still loot, so you still commit it to the fight. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Because you're going to use this ability if it's been committed. Okay, that makes sense. All right, all right. So, what I'm going to do next... Got three cards in my hand and three in my stash. Yeah, I know. That's the downside. All this right. is great. This is already going well. Okay. Do you take your one damage at the end of your turn? Oh, I don't think I did. One, two, three, four, five. So we'll take four off. I'll put five on there. Boop. All right. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna take it. I'm, I, I want to keep them available. Yeah. Okay. Well, why not? Uh, make things more interesting. So I'm going to use alms to the poor, uh, which is Aha. a cool card. It allows me to have two when I have zero, but I get only to... you can only use it when you have zero. Right. But I get a gold as well. Right. So that's the downside. But on the plus Upside. side, it allows me to actually use a monster <gasps> for one. Mm -hmm. Bring it. All right. Ow! Ha <laughs> ha ha! Cheater. It was. And then that goes right. Yep. So now I know that he has a four drop in his hand. Mm -hmm. It's good to know. Well, I might have had four drop a while ago. You didn't check it, remember? Oh, yeah. <laughs> but right. now I know. Yes. Because you cheated. Right. Look at this dirty cleric over here, just cheating and lying and everything. Well, it's okay. You're supposed to be this whole beacon of trust to the community. Well, it's okay because I have Dr. Meow practice here. Oh, my gosh. All these evil things. Mm -hmm. Well, this I doctor can't... here is when I heal... My thief sensibilities are are being offended by this cheater and this malpracticing meow practice doctor. Don't make me zap you. But uh, yeah, cat puns. I appreciate it. Yep. 
So Cat puns? Really, we appreciate puns with my Owl of Devastation playmat and your Slow and Tell playmat. Not to mention, these are also for sale at the store. This one is not. This one is. This was a pre-release thing, so oh. whenever you come to our Magic pre-releases, you have a chance of winning one of these um, Star City Games Creature Collection ones that are themed after the event with our logo on it. But the ones that we get every single month, these ones don't have our logo on it, but we do sell them. Which is awesome. So this is a special... Event. Only for pre-releases. And this was a pre-release for your... Hour of Devastation. Hour of Devastation. Hence why this is the Owl of Devastation. I really like it. So I love it. Yeah. So you should definitely check out these events if you also enjoy these kind of playmats. Yeah. Next pre-release is coming up in April. Cool. That's like just Same around the corner. Same weekend of Kingdom <gasps> Con. Ooh. We'll have yes. to mention that a little bit soon. <laughs> yeah. All right. What do you yeah. got for the rest of your turn? Uh, honestly, I think I'm good. I yeah, you're done. You're done. Yeah. You're uh, done. It's fine. You're so, done. I'm level four. I'm going to get three more gold. Yep. Hopefully a little bit more. Uh, thanks to Mr. Land over there. All right. Well, let's go ahead and roll for Honest Al's Casino. Hey, hey, we both get a gold. So I'm fair, up to six. And, and it is Al as in Al the dude, as in Al Bundy kind of dude, not like, whoo-hoo. You mean Big Gale? Sometimes. Or Al. Like Al. I keep, Owl. I keep, every Owl. time I hear it, I keep thinking, it's, you know, he's going to be a hoot. Oh, ha. Uh, all right. So I'm going to go ahead and draw my card from my turn. And let's go ahead and draw two more. Ugh. And bottom one. We'll bottom this one. Okay. All right. So that's what we're looking at over there. It's not too bad. It's not too good either. We've got five goldy golds. Okay. So, first thing first, yep. I'm going to go ahead and squash Muggsy's sap. And I'm going to do that, so that way... You know, you know watch? No. You tell me what time it is? Sure. <clears throat> 2 oh, 8 Well, that's wrong, because it's hammer time! Oh! So, this one I have to be level 4 to play. It does 4 damage and blocks 4 damage. Wow. It's great. That's it's amazing. Just in it's the hammer time. It's just in the stitch of time. Ah, uh, Nick of time? No, Nickelodeon. Oh. It's a good show. <laughs> Network? <laughs> Series. Sure. <laughs> okay. So, let's start going. So, you have that dude whenever one of my monsters dies. You have one card in hand. Yeah, man, I, Dang. I, I, I literally have not been able to squash a monster that you control, which is okay. disappointing. Let's go ahead and start off with this. Mm, yeah, that through. That through? I'm a liar. I'm a cheater. And, and the other Thief? things? Yeah. yeah. There's a song, right? Lie, cheat, steal? Yeah, okay. Eddie Gurney. Yeah. yeah. All right, Mama next. Sika. Oh, my. Six. That's a heck of a bluff. Is a heck of a bluff. Six goldy golds. What you got for me? What you gonna do when the six gold runs wild on you, brother? I think it's a bluff. Yeah? You think through. it's a bluff? Yeah, bring it. It's the Dodecagorgon! It wasn't a bluff. It was not a bluff. This is a 6-6. Six, six. He also has sketchy. That means that when he gets revealed and I've already been cheating this turn, you have to mill six. Yeah. Ouch. Yeah. But on the plus side, you're also doing six damage to me. I will be doing six damage to you. That's definitely a plus side. What does this do to me? Two damage to my six damage on Do Dodecagorgon? That was a bad call. Yeah, this is amazing. So this is zapped, by the way, I, sir. I know. Yeah. Keep that <sighs> robe of retribution, reclamation. I don't know what it is. All right, so what I gotta do now, I will do the two damage, because it's gonna happen anyway. So he takes two. I guess I should use my dwarf. Yep. Drop it down to five damage. Ow! <laughs> and I bring my Dodecagorgon back to my stash, and go ahead and mill six. Yeah. Let's see that angel. Aww. One. Oh, oh the weapon killer. My, oh, my oh the damage mitigator. No! Oh, the Uncursor! Oh, healing! Oh, more healing! I got another one of those. <gasps> Garbage! Yep. Actually, it's a big card. I think we're at five? That's at five. One, two, three. Okay. Angel! No! No! What? Suction oh, cup. suction cup. Another healy thing. Well, it's still ruining my combo with my cat. Yeah, so that was it's good. amazing. I'm this just, is great. I'm having a wonderful time. 
wonderful time. Don't stop me now. I'm having such a good time. I'm having a ball. Don't stop me now. I passed the turn. Good. I will go good. ahead and level up to five and get five gold. Fun note, uh, about level five is when I usually lose. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's when this starts kind of going crazy. It's like... The card draw in this deck is ridiculous. I am, I feel like I'm playing Chase the Mind Sculptor. I really wish I had some more damage coming through, but that's okay. Yeah. Because right, so. I got hit, like that's, every single game that we played, I get hit really hard at the beginning. Yeah. And then about this time is where it starts evening out. All right, so I believe my own reckoning is next. Yep. Don't forget to take a damage. Oh, yes. We both get a gold. Thank you for that. Uh, we do, which is nice. Yes. All right, so now I'm up to six, which is cool. Then I draw a card. I'm going to remind myself of how many of a certain card you have. That's right. Um, well, that's neat. Okay. Oh, but I can't do that yet. That's less neat. Okay. Okay. Alrighty. Alrighty then. Okay, so let's go ahead and attack with his mystery monster. Oh, cool. Oh, okay. So I will mitigate all of the damage and put five, four, four damage onto that one. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't die yet, because it has one left. Alright. Yes. Okay. I get these other ones to trigger. No, they don't. They're all defensive stuff. Yep. All right. I will just pass the turn. Woof. Yeah, I know. All right. Again, the card draw is what I need. Yep. So, <laughs> so you have two cards in hand? Uh, yeah, I have two cards. Ouch. In hand. Okay. Yeah. I will unzap, return the Dodecagorgon back right. to my hand. That's so not fair. There we go. <laughs> Well, at least I know you have to pay six and intend to use it. So. Yeah, we'll go ahead and roll this die. Uh -oh. We got a six. Both of us draw a card. You're that. welcome. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. You're welcome. Tomorrow, tomorrow. Okay. And so then I'll go ahead and use the alpha ability and draw two more. Yep. <laughs> That's great. I'm going to do the thing. I love this. I might stop you. You don't know. All right. Okay. So, oh, I've still the bottom one. Uh, we will bottom. I think this one. Okay. So you have three cards in hand to my nine. Mm -hmm. That's oh, my. great. Just rub it in. <laughs> I'm going to try every single time. Bam. Ooh. Zero cost. Yup. He just wants to cheat. That's all that is. Are you sure? Yeah. Now, if I let it through, he shows it, nothing happens, because he doesn't lose the gold, but he triggers the other thing. But you'll take damage. Mm -hmm. That's nice. That's mm -hmm. nice. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, if I run away, then I've wasted my run away, mm -hmm. and I know he has a six mm -hmm. cost. Mm -hmm. So guess what I have to let do? Mm -hmm. But no, here's the thing. Can I use one of my abilities to do stuff? So if I commit my two, and it's something that I can instantly kill, that's one less monster I have to worry about. True. Let's try that out. You're going to go there with the robe of retribution? Yeah, maybe it's a two cost. Well, I also have a lame goblin. Oh no, not a lame goblin. So when goblin. this is hired, it costs zero. I take a damage. Mm -hmm. But it deals two damage to your hero, because you didn't block with anything. No, block but with you did use the rope of retribution. So when this combat is done, he will die, and you will draw a card. Yes, which I finally appreciate. Thank you for hope. Okay. So I'm going to take two damage. Take two. So go to 15, to my 10. Uh, yes. Okay. All right, next. We Can will... I get the draw card? Yes. Let's see, that. Let's see what you are. Oh. All right. Next, we'll go ahead and go two and do that. Hmm, you haven't cheated yet. I have not. It's not the super cost-effective guy. It's not your big guy. Well, it could be. You could just be cheating. Mm 
Let's see, you have nine cards. I am well, now down seven. to seven, but yes. Okay. And there is no maximum hand size. That's true. Yeah. All right, you know, let's, let's get into the Barbarian for once. Okay. Let's see what it is. Okay. I will go ahead and reveal. I will pay its cost, and it's Muggsy. Of course it is. So, you'll be tapped and take one damage. Yeah. And I survived. Right. So, he'll go away over here, and I will steal one of your gold. Yeah, which is cool, because I was like, well, at least I'll make him waste gold. But he decks him to go. If he does the combo, he got one back. All right. Two. So now I know he can't afford the really big guy, which is nice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Still hasn't cheated, so his dice... Oh, we don't have your knife out anyways. No. Nope. Um, it's, it's hammer time. I told you. It's true. Get hammer, a watch. Hammer time's nice. Yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. For two... I think he's fake, but I don't want anything bigger happening. I'm gonna let it come through. It's another Muggsy! Oh yeah, I forgot you can do that. Yep. So we went ahead and did another Muggsy. You'll take one damage unless you want to mitigate that. No, I think and you're I'll gonna... take another one of your gold. I don't want you to hit my ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, all right. Um, okay. So back to me again. We'll go ahead and go two. Drop that. Okay. Yeah, bring it on. We've got the Ferris Oxide Monster. Good. So this one is a 2-1. Its ability is at the end of a fight, squish target committed weapon. He doesn't currently have any weapons, but still two damage for two. It's nice. Yeah, it is still nice. So we'll go ahead and use the two, deal two damage. And we'll go ahead and spend two and do that. See, the worst part is I want to run away, but he might just be getting it back to mess with me. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, we're getting pretty close to my hit points. So. Don't stop me now. I'm having such a good time. Having a ball. I'm going to let it come through, because at least I can negate it once. Good call. I lied. Cool. I was hoping you would do that. Yeah. I was hoping you would I know. try to fight it. Yeah. So I'll take one damage. And then we'll go ahead and go... Two. So now I have an option. Mm -hmm. I could run away, and he'll still get his two... Or I can assume that is actually another nasty creature. But he has a bad habit of always having the creature I hate after I run away. Yes. But to be fair, he has such a bigger hand size, it's hard to gauge. Yes. My last time I had a gut, it really hit me in the face. Oh, wait. I know one of those creatures is a deep, big old six guy. Okay. Could be that. I know. <laughs> I really don't want to sacrifice my cat. Bring it. I think you're bluffing again. You're right. Ooh. You're right. Ooh. I was bluffing again, so I'll take a damage. Yeah. But you get that back. I do get this back. I did take the damage. Yeah. And then we'll go ahead and go there and two. Okay. It still could be the big six guy, honestly. I don't know what he has in his hand. He mm -hmm. seems to have a lot of monsters, obviously. Yeah. Mm, but then he does have some cost-effective ones. Uh, I'm going to go with my gut again. Bring it. I didn't lie this time. That's this fine. is Card Shark! That's fine. It's a 2-2, two -two, and when this is squished in a fight, draw one card. And now you have to use your ability to prevent one damage, otherwise you're going to die. I might still die. You might have direct damage. But you used all your gold. I did use all of my gold. I'm I will gonna, go ahead and, I'm since I'm level 5, actually. you can prevent the damage from the bleed with you're your right, tap. You're right, because I'll untap first. Yeah. Cool. 11 foot pull. Whew, good. Now I have one card in hand. I played eight cards. Mm. I will go ahead and pass, Weird. go up to level six, and get six gold. Oh, poor me. See? See? Level five. Such a good level. So good. So nice. All right. I wonder what card is in my hand. Yeah, me too. Yeah, right? All right. Go ahead and go. Oh, man, this rogue. All right. I think <laughs> I can sort of have another round. We'll see how it works. So let's go through the right steps first. Unflip. Unta or unzap. Yep. All right, 
Yeah. Uh, Copy out there in the middle. Appreciate it. Uh, this comes back to my hand. Now we do yep. the reckoning. This hits me, but I have to do this. So to not die. Because you had 19 damage right now. Right. Uh, both of us only have 20 hit points. Okay. Um, I can officially now drop this. It's called the Holier Symbol. Ooh. Really like it. It's a loot trinket. I can zap it to heal one. Nice. And I'm, oh, we forgot Honest Al's Casino. Oh, let's do Honest Well. That should happen first. I we even, both get a gold. I, I haven't even drawn my card yet, technically, yeah. either. So we both get a gold, which yep. is nice. I could use more gold. Um, and then I draw a card, then I play that. Yes. All right, so not bad, not bad. So, looking at what all I have, um, I am going to zap you. There's nothing there I have to... Can I zap one of those monsters? No, what does I it just, do? I heal, and then I deal... Yeah, no, this is not how the combo works. Right. So I zap this. You're going to heal one? one. Okay. You're at 18. Then I can trigger the cat, yep. who then has to zap, and he's going to do one damage to you. Okay. So it says to, 13. The, it says to the opponent. Yes. <laughs> and that leaves me less blockers, obviously, but at least I got to use the cat. Now, I get to go on the offense. With your four gold. With my four gold. <laughs> <laughs> Rough. All right. Okay, is there any cool combinations I can do? What do you got back there? Got my hammer time and my 11 foot pole. Boy. All right. All right. All right. Okay, good. I was making sure. There are 11 feet on that pole. Go big or go home, right? Let's do this. It's three? Yeah. That is not the cost of the vanilla cone. No. So, nothing. Hmm? Okay, bring it. If I overpaid for this card, stash target loot. Ah, so let's give her that hammer. Dang. <laughs> now, mind you, it cost me a lot to do that. Yeah, and then I'll take one. Uh, yes. Okay. I was hoping that, eh, he still can't attack me anymore, but yeah. You assume I don't have good cards. Well, at least I can... I know yeah, so that I can, can block least, with this. You can at least block one. Yes. I was hoping that... Like, I knew that you knew that I knew. <laughs> this makes sense. I swear this sentence makes sense. I knew that you knew that I knew that you have that ice cream cone in your hand. Or whatever that thing is. And that I was going to block with both of these if I saw you pay for. Inconceivable! Yes. All right. Uh, I don't think you know what that word means. Right. All right, so one of the things I can do is I can play a card from my hand. I can do bluff mechanics. Mm -hmm. I can try to trigger more of my stuff. Um, but honestly, the smartest thing I can do... Because I'm going to automatically take one life at the beginning mm -hmm. of my turn. So my dwarf is basically keeping me alive. Yes. I don't have a lot of defenders. So keeping money open is probably a smart thing. Uh, but I'm going to get refill it anyways. I don't know. I got some cool stuff, so I think I'll just see how the next turn round goes. Pass. I figure that's the best idea. All right. So I will gain all the monies. Go up to level six. Yep. One, two, three, four, five. While you do that, I will unstash. Yeah, I wish I had a way to like mess with your stash. Yeah, that's right. The problem. All right. Okay. So then I'll go ahead and roll for Honest Al's Casino. Whoop! We both get a gold. That's nice. Thank you. There we go. Then I will draw for turn. Okay. And let's go ahead and draw two. And we'll bottom one. Okay. So you've got all of that over there. We'll start off with... Two. I like how he's easing in. Um, yeah, let's see what you're going for. Uh, okay. It's Muggsy. Yeah. It's a Muggsy. All right, so I pay the two. Yeah. He'll deal one damage there. 
and I'll steal your gold. And he dies. Yes. Horribly. Yeah. I don't like Muggsy. Can we go two? All right, that could be another Muggsy. And his effect will still happen. No, I can kill As him. long as he survives. Okay, so I could probably do that. And I need... I want to have to. Mm-hmm. Because if I don't, then he... If it's another Muggsy, you'll still get six. And I have to worry about your six guy. Yeah. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay. It was Muggsy. Yeah, okay. So he'll die. So I'll commit the two. That doesn't die. That just gets oh, that's right. zapped. Yeah, he just gets zapped. Yeah, but its ability will happen to Muggsy. You still take the one from Muggsy, though. Uh, then die. You're at 18. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Right, you um, healed one on your turn. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I'm still going to try to kill you. I appreciate it. You're just not dead yet. Yeah. I'm going to get rid of the 11-foot pole. That's fair. We'll put down a dagger of treachery. And hammer time. Man, not hammer time. Yup, it's hammer time. All right, I think we'll do this. So, two. There. I'll run away. Okay. I think you know the path we're going down. Yep. And here's the thing. I kind of want to run away and kill myself. <laughs> nah. But that's not sportsman life. Nah. So let's go ahead and let it reveal. Because I literally have nothing. It's a ferrous oxide monster. Yeah. Well, let's go ahead. And, you mean what? <gasps> let's go ahead and rust those bones away. Yep. So that's going to be yeah. 21. The rest of my hand. <laughs> basically, if you had a response to this, yeah. I was just going to skewer you. I know. I knew something was coming. Yeah. I literally got really big creatures. Bull. And you kept stealing my gold. Yes. So <laughs> I was like, well, I don't have a way to kill Muggsy. No. I, I did not get my equipment cards to kill him. Oh, yeah, this off. Muggsy was dead, though. So when you got the second one, I was even more like, well, dang. Every I turn, basically, waste all of your stuff and then get some Muggsies in there. Yeah, no, the Muggsy was cool. I like this guy. He was kind of an answer, though I could have yeah. done the same with this person. But the difference is you have to commit the item. Yes. This one I knew I could get rid of the hammer. Yes. For a so. turn. That's the difference, though. This one gets rid of it for a turn, but it doesn't have to be committed. This one gets rid of it forever, but sure. I have to commit it. But you didn't commit anything. No. So I was like, I made a good choice. Cost me one more. So I didn't mind that. Uh, having big cards was kind of annoying because if without the money... I wasn't able to do it. And here's the thing. That's why I love my deck, because yeah. any of the cards that I'm not able to use, I just bought them. Right. And then I made a really bad call on that, not like letting the six through. Yeah. I thought you were going to try to bluff the first one, and then the next one was going to be six again. Yeah, no. So I was just like, mm, no. All right, we're going so in. I, yeah. We go. We in there. So that definitely hurt. Uh, I might have gone another round. Uh, and if we did go another round, just see what I would have yeah, it didn't matter. Aww. I needed I needed some more equipment or that. I like the holy symbol. If I would have gotten that early, that would have helped trigger yeah. more combos. Is that a land? No, it's a loot. Oh, it's a loot. I yeah. can read from so, here. So that's fine. It's yeah. pretty cool. I think it's actually a key piece because it literally, every turn I can activate it to heal one, which is great. Which is really nice, especially when you have... Yeah. And yeah. so this cat, I can have multiple. He's just going to help me do damage every turn. Yeah. And when you work. heal, you zap him and you deal one. And if I have to get rid of him, he's still something to take a hit. Exactly. So he eats one so hit. Bad. And he only costs um, one. It's nice. I would say my my weakest thing about this deck is there's, I don't really have good ways of hitting you too hard. Like, I can have... I have some big monsters, but you seem to just... You hit me really it. hard at the beginning. Yeah. A little bit. And, and then it. I just go... Now I'm just going to have way more cards. Well, even when I hit you with the uh, the cool ice cream monster. He's an elemental, folks. Yes. Um, you just used hammer time. I was like, yeah, that's fair. Yeah. 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 So that's okay. Uh, and I then like, I killed him. Yeah. So I like the cleric deck. Or I killed the other one. I like the. Theme. I killed the gazebo. Yeah, you killed it. Yeah. That was my favorite. That was actually the first time I got to play him, and he was super good. I was so disappointed because it's like pay two. It's like I have my own gazebo in my hand. I was like, please don't be a gazebo. Please don't be a gazebo. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's a gazebo, and I just played a land or a ta- uh, location. Yeah. So I really like the the cleric theme. Like the the play style is nice. Out of the box, apparently these ones are fairly competitive from what I read. Yeah. Um, so but I tried this one out because this one's this one's amazing. It is. Yeah. But yeah, there's a point where I think when you don't get his combos going or 
I just I just don't have the right money. Um, it's slowed down in a way, but the the rogues or the thieves' ability to constantly grab cards mm -hmm. was definitely a huge boon because it just helps you sculpt your deck the way you want. Yeah, I think that's great. Card draw mechanics are really good in card games. Mm -hmm. Uh, so if you're really into card games or collecting, definitely like it. I, one of the things I pointed out with this one was I like how all the artwork is a little higher quality than normal Munchkin, for mm -hmm. the most part. And it's very, like they had a, a clear goal, like each character has a look. And then each different artist kind of followed that script. And that's yeah. pretty awesome. Uh, some are a little bit higher quality um, than others, but uh, it fits the theme really well. Yeah, like the game, it's so we'll basically get into our review right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so thank you for my you're, skewer. You're welcome. I kind of wanted to rip it up, but I felt <laughs> that would not be very sporting like. In, in poor taste. Um, so the game is fun. I it, it, We played a couple games to get a feel for the rules, yeah. and we definitely had it afterwards. Um, I will say, I don't like that it's CCG. No, I've never been a fan of CCG. Well, that's not true. When I was younger, CCGs were all about it. I loved the... You played Magic. Well, just opening a booster is pretty important. Yes. Like, you're just like, oh, that was so good. Um, which we'll get to in a second, because this yeah. one comes with a booster. Well, we actually, yeah, let's go ahead and just look at it. We already... Sure. the uh, Any of the starters actually come with one booster. Right. Uh, the booster pack has 12 cards in it. Mm -hmm. And so, as an example, we have here... The one thing I don't know, it's like it has normal rarities of common, uncommon, rare. This one's X. I looked that up. Oh, what is that? So, the rarity keywords, H is for hero, yeah. C is for common, yeah. U is for uncommon... R is for rare. There's a V for very rare. Ooh. And X is special. This is various. So I believe what this means is it's a different art. Oh, it's just, okay, it's alternate arts. Because yeah. we got the Beagle Scouts. And his whole shtick is he's Monstrous One. When this is committed to a fight, it is a 1-1-1 one, one, one monster card. Its card type changes to monster and it has no other ability. So this is one you could play as an ally or as a monster. Yeah, and from what I read, you know, when we had a brief moment... Uh, even though the, these decks don't come with a lot of rares, I think there might be two per deck. Um, I definitely saw one. The game itself is not designed... That rare doesn't mean like those are better cards. It's not power so level. It's more about how hard it is to get that card. So it's more of a collector side. And sometimes the rares are just cool. And that's why it's called a collector's card game. Yeah, yeah so the Dodecagorgon, of course, is rare. Um, there are some other variant types, which I like. Uh -huh. um, I, I don't know if it's my favorite, but W is we destroyed most of these. Huh. And then, what? and then there's a T. Well, as in this card, like, oh yeah, there's only a few of these left. Okay. And then T. These don't really exist. I guess those are like special promos. Or it's just Munchkin humor. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, you do get two. It's not two per deck. It's two in the starter boxes because I have my Dodo deck and Gorgon. And go ahead and fetch out your Angel. Yeah. And show them what that does because I actually haven't seen what that is able to do because the only time I saw it was when I made you mill it. That's true. All right, I like this guy so much. The bargain. Oh, the quote. budget Sasquatch. Oh, also, there's a a very lame guy who's just a zero two. Blandy McBlanderson. He's great. Yeah, chainsaws. You know, not Jesus. Drop bear. Yes, R and Jesus. But was it like the first thing I was going to get? Where is this? Oh, oh, there oh, she is. Okay. So we have the Angel of Awesomeness, and she's a monster angel. She's a two two. Uh, move up to two damage from your hero card to target monster or any other hero card. Oh, yeah. That would be great to keep using every turn. What, when does that trigger? When she's activated. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. I, so I guess it balances in the fact that she's only a 2-2 two -two and costs 4. Right. But, but man, that's a good ability. Yeah, so it's it's pretty much the iconic ability I would want in this deck. Yeah. Because not only can my dwarf save her if need be so she can then trigger all that stuff. But Other cards can also save her yeah. and such. So you're, super tr you're, you're, like, you're just balancing that cool mechanic and... You, even if you know I have her, sometimes you got to take it. Yeah. So that's kind of just nice. like just like you did. Yeah. Well, I I thought you were bluffing. I'm like, you know what? I think he's going to pull it off again the next <laughs> turn because he knows I have to run away at least once. Yeah. So, but no, I was a uh, that was a bad call on my part. <laughs> which <laughs> just takes six to the dome, which is fine. And which I guess could circle back to one of the key mechanics to this game over other card games is there is a bluff mechanic. It's a bluff mechanic. That is other, very different. Yeah, the only other game, and it's a living card game, I know that has a core bluff mechanic is... Um, uh, L5R. Not so much. There is to it. There's a bluff uh, for how but, much you draw. Yeah, but Netrunner was the one that came to mind. Yes. That game is bluff-tastic. Bluff City? I feel like it's very much poker. City built on a bluff? Because there's a lot of like, oh, I'm going to do this, and I really hope you don't think I'm going to do this. Yeah. <laughs> um, 
So that's pretty neat. So I like I like the bluff mechanic. I think the limp mechanic is kind of cool too because sometimes you can just I oh yeah, it's like so it. you just you get one free one per turn, and then they go like, okay, I commit six gold to this. Yeah. Uh, I'll limp away and just take two damage because I don't want to. I think I know what that is. I don't want to deal with yeah. it. And it's definitely a thing where you can you pay attention to what you what your uh, opponent has played, how many cards they have in their hand. Here's a good example of that. If you did have that six and I ran away, well now the six is over here. Yes. But again, if you want to bluff and say that there was the six, of course you reveal it. I guess that wouldn't matter. Ye well, no, if you run away, I don't reveal. So you don't reveal. So yeah. again, then if you pay six again, trying to bluff me, and you know if it's you're going to get that money back, then I could be like, well, now I still think it's that one because I think you bluffed me. I'll just take two damage instead of six. And then again, I don't reveal it and I get my gold back. Yeah, you get your gold back and I'm taking two. Yeah. But I don't know these, so that's kind of neat. Yeah. So yeah, I dig it. Well, I definitely these decks really do play well out of the box. Mm -hmm. They're definitely a good buy to just get just to play against each other. And it's gonna be kind of like how I treated Summoner Wars. I we oh, we go man. back to that game a little bit so every good. once in a while. So good. Uh, but that's one of the games where it did have a LCG kind of mechanic to it, where you had non-randomized expansions that you could buy for it. But both uh, both of us, right? Yeah. Yeah, both Hopefully. of us never changed the decks outside of how nope. they came inside the box. Like, the game just worked as it was. Yeah. And we just... We didn't want to... Basically, the decks just worked out of the box. And we didn't want to mess with those decks and add cards to it and make them not work because we're bad at the game. Exactly. And what's great about this one is, as you're alluding to, is that you can get all three starters. Mm -hmm. You're going to get six different... Decks. And you can play this multiplayer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, two to four, which is. Yeah, because cool. one of the whole things about my thing is that I say, basically, about my uh, vampire cat, yeah. it's all players that are bleeding. Oh, that's so neat. Yes. So if multiple people are bleeding or multiple people are playing the thief and getting other people bleeding, this happens. I'm not going to lie. I think this game would be very hilarious once you add another player. I think so, too. So I'm, I'm curious. So we'll probably yeah. check that out. Uh, if we think it's going to be cool yeah. to redo, we'll uh, show I do believe we are going to be having Steve Jackson demos, which are going to be including these in the near future. I don't have the dates off the top of my head, but keep an eye out on the Facebook page. going to be posting those up soon. Yeah, uh, we also brought it up uh, earlier on. Kingdom Con is right around the corner. Yeah, it That's going to be April 19th to the 22nd. Big event. Uh, yes. And unfortunately, again, Wizards of the Coast, why are you doing this? Pre-release for Dominaria is the same weekend. It's going to be the 21st and the 22nd. That's harsh. Yes. So feel free to come check us out. We'll have uh, Terry and the rest of the Magic crew over here in the store taking care of pre-release. And there will be myself and a smattering of other players over at Kingdom Con. Yeah, there will. And that's going to be a great event. They're but gonna... you also have something going on that weekend, too. Yeah, I do. So you can't see the shirt I'm wearing, but it's pretty super You awesome. saw it in the intro. Yeah. Uh, so we have Super Awesome Showdown, and that one will be our Unlimited? No, that will no, be, that's gonna be the real Chrono one. Chaos. That's Chrono Chaos. We have Unlimited coming up on March 17th, which, depending on when this comes out, come to the show. So, yeah, so that one's also going to fall on St. Patty's Day, too, which is cool, and this is in San Diego, if you're not mm -hmm. aware. And the other one will be as well. But the, the Chrono Chaos show will be a full production, uh, videos and live music, um, family friendly event and it is intergalactic combat loosely based on lucha libre and professional wrestling mm -hmm. so it's going to be pretty exciting um, the only thing i can give you is it may have a theme most of our big name ones do that's post-apocalyptic Ooh, that sounds super awesome yeah well we try it's in the title there we go oh. <laughs> so our... it's going to definitely be april's going to be busy yes definitely busy and so well we're in march right now let's go ahead and enjoy our quiet march while we can yeah Yep, <laughs> and we'll see y'all later. Ooh.